Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're checking to make sure the camera's focused. I'm Lolly. And I'm Ann Picaro. And we're together and we went thrift storing today. And you know you've been watching my hauls that we have a creative reuse center in town. And those are the ones that, um, have, it's like a thrift store but only for crafting supplies. And so today, because of the holidays, they were doing this fill a bag for $15. So Woo! I know. So we were, a lot of their stuff is so affordable that I wasn't even sure I was going to get my money's worth out of a bag. Because usually I fill a bag for eight or nine because I get all this paper stuff. Well, she gave us a huge bag. Yeah, it's very big. It and was, her daughter has the same problem of buying a lot of thrift store products. <laughs> yeah, we got was, our money's worth. It was humongous. So we were able to get all of our stuff in this one bag and it's too big to even just like hold it up and show you in front of the camera. But we're going to pause the camera, focus it down and show you what all the two of us got together for $15. So hang tight. We're back. Um, so I was stocking up on a lot of paper crafting materials. I'm going to go by quick, pretty quickly. They had a lot of postage stamps that I'm using for travel themes. These are those fabric labels you put on clothes that say handmade with love by grandma, by mom, mother, and all those. So I'm not really sewing anymore, but I could still use these in paper crafts. And I got all these from a bin of uh, games, game pieces. But again, for travel uh, themed projects I'm working on, it says American Places and American People. I got some loose playing cards. They're plastic coated. And I'm working on a project and I was getting discouraged because even Gesso wasn't preparing the cards right for holding the paint. So I'm going to sand them up a little bit, then Gesso and paint and see if that works. But I wanted some practice cards before, <laughs> before I get too carried away <laughs> with my enthusiasm here. And also game pieces, geography cards. These will also help with the um, travel theme I'm doing. I'm going to take my... Um, edge scissors that make it look like a postage stamp and turn those into big postage stamps. Got some confetti and this is gold hearts and we've got some tropical, we've got some palm trees going on there. Rivets, this is a, a nice old metal band-aid box looks like with rivets and a rivet tool and instructions. So that would be a cool project to have on hand if I ever come across the need of that. This was kind of a fun little thing. I found they had a whole bunch of these and they're playing cards shaped like band-aids. <laughs> now, I know that <laughs> you know you were wanting a set of these, so stop <laughs> laughing. And they say they say God can heal or something like that. But anyway, I like of course, the card design though. Yeah, the card design's pretty cool. So Look there they that. are. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So they've got ropes and mountains. Oh, this is really cool. Instead of aces, in, I mean, instead of hearts, you know, the usual suits, it's mountains, snowflakes. It's like a little first aid kit and ropes. It's like mountaineering stuff. That is really cute. And it says God has the power to heal, but they're shaped like a band-aid. They have a case. So, hey, you can't go wrong, right? They normally were, I think, 50 cents uh, a pack. But again, since they were in this whole fill a bag for $15 thing. I got all those. Now this is, I don't know if I can get this oh, all on camera. Here goes. You ready? I'm excited about these. These are microfilm. I'm going to take one out. They had, now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I realize I'm off camera. Ten of these and they were priced at 50 cents for the entire box. So this looks like a university and this is their 1956 um, American literature class and it's microfilm. So Oh, wow, this is not even undone here. Wow, that's really cool. Now, where's the end? So, how much you can see, I don't know, but here we go. You can see that that's clear, and, and right there, that is a microfilm of the curriculum for the class. So, this is going to make some really cool projects. I even love this little film reel right there. I'm not sure what I could do with that, but... Again, I passed up some film once in the store and regretted it ever since. So a friend of mine just gave me a little bit of the microfilm from her thrift store. And now I have all this that I will share and explore with. So more zippers. If you remember my zipper projects, I got all of these. I think there's about eight or so of them. Did you get the cool mesh one? You yeah, did. you got to see this one. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like a thin mesh and you can see through it. So it's pretty cool. And I did play with them all. This one has an interesting zipper top. If you've ever sewn, 
usually you have a catch at the bottom, but the top two pieces are separated, but this has a catch at the top and it's round. Like maybe for a bag, do you think? Could be. That would be great. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, and then some one spool of thread, one flexible zipper with an alligator on it. And trivia of the day, this was Anne's one of Anne's first words was alligator when she was <laughs> a little squat. Now these were, uh, they had a whole bin. I don't know what these were supposed to be, but they're like flat black, flat back resin pieces. And I always use flat back gluing in projects, but they had dog bones. And I have a friend who just loves her doggies. It's you, Karen. I'm going to send her those. And then they also had a bunch of hearts and they had different colors of hearts. And I just grabbed a handful and threw them in the bag. So those are going to be cute. A little puppy love right there. And then uh, Anne found these, and these are the Quilter's Color Key. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought these would be really cool for making tags with, paper tags or blank on the back. But they'll be good in some mixed media and um, some junk journals. Mostly what I'm focusing on. And another goodie Anne found. Look at these. George Washington, United States of America. And they're, they're double-sided. So they're really cool play money. Oh, and this one has a different back on it. Yeah. One dollar. These are just adorable. I think someone probably printed them at home and cut them out. Because this has got two backs and one of them has two fronts. But, hey, you know, they're, they're not spendable anyway. But these will be really cute in a junk journal as well. I like the color. Yeah, and they're like this mauve color. Oh, I didn't see those. And these are the... Oh, that's yeah, nice paper. The first one is kind of dinged up. But if you tea stain it or coffee stain it... It's, that's really I think, nice paper. I think it's invitation paper. It's got a wider border on this side than it does and on that. Isn't it scored? No, it's not scored. I think it shows you where to fold, though, because I think it is an invitation, and that's got to be halfway. I know you can't see the texture on there very well, but you can see the lines on there. And again, fold it in half, cute in a junk journal, or even just um, open like that and done in a cinch machine. Those are going to be a great project. It's really thick. Mm -hmm. Got a good weave to it. We've got some edging here. Oh, I like this. Book covers, you know, the, I'm thinking book covers and book That's pages. Really this is a peach color, blue. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of it, but still will be great. Now, don't we all need these? These organizing bins by Doris. Yeah. I was saying I love those flat back resin pieces, and these are perfect for those. And I do have some maps, but I thought this was interesting. San Isabel, Colorado. So it's like a mountain map here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a different kind of, there's Pike National Forest, so... This will be really cool. And you know me, if I'm afraid of using up a product completely, I will photocopy it into my computer and print it off multiple times. So I may or may not do that. You but a giant flatbed scanner. That's what I need. <laughs> Dear Santa, for Christmas, please, flatbed scanner. And the place a place to put it. I don't even know what these were. They were in their bin of, oh, they're punch-out cards. If we should live a thousand years, our time is all today. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with the sentiment, but so they're 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 perforated. I'm not sure what happens when I punch them out, but I like them the way they are. I could leave them connected and uh, use them that way. Again, thinking junk jur <clears throat> journals. Again, thinking junk journals. I found this stack of envelopes I thought was very pretty and perky. Kind of reminds me of the American Girl stuff that I got there before. I got envelopes from there, and these are larger um and some blank ones or oh, yellow ones these are larger index cards than i have ever come across before so i was kind of happy to see these those aren't cheap i just bought a huge pack of those to use for myself and i spent a fortune i on bet them. it's like a custom <laughs> size but you know these are already on the vintagey side so those yeah, are really nice. cool they look good let me use my brand new ruler to see how big these are. <laughs> these are eight inches by five. Yeah, wow, those nice. are humongous. And did I say humongous? I think I did. Wallpaper, just one sheet this time. Look at this from Bo Bunny. It says friend. You can't kind see the D. Right you can't now. see the D. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's in there. It's, oh, just it's a the, little notebook. It's a notebook. It's a notebook that you can decorate. See, it's chipboard, and there's holes oh, punched. See, so fun. F is the first page, R is the next, and it goes down like that. Oh, that's really neat. And then neat. the D is the back cover. Here's an example of it already decorated. See, they were going to sell it for a dollar, but again, it was in my ba my my big old bag. And I got <clears> some <throat> more vellum just because I can't help myself. Oh, vellum. And yes. this one sheet of vellum is frosty. Oh, wow. 
frosty the vellum was a pretty and then you all know I've been working on file folder projects. Look at this. Caspari or Gaspari file folders. They're beautiful. A whole stack of them. And then this is kind of an interesting find. Yeah. Pocahontas County, Iowa. And it's, it's Toral Atlas. So if you look through here, there's several pages that can be just taken out and used in the junk journal. And I'm just seeing how much this is catching. Look at this, it's got counties listed, and there's like weather maps, and county codes broken down into townships, I think. Advertisers, but it's just, I'm skipping through, but this is pretty fast. And of course, there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this information is. Maybe this is private information and shouldn't be shared. Let me see what this says. It's just a directory, yeah, of who lives in the township, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's photos here. Oh, wow. Interesting. But then it goes right back into this again. So okay. I that's what I was thinking, was I would use all of these. I wouldn't use the ones with all these personal information. But these are so cool. But the ones with the listings of the people was listing their genealogies. Did you notice that? Son of so-and-so, daughter of so-and-so, really? lives in such and such. Here. You're right. Son of Lewis and Maine. Oh, my goodness. So I wonder how big Pocahontas Township or County or whatever it is. Must and be. What, what year was this even... It doesn't. You would think a book this big would say, two thousand six. Two thousand six. Huh. So it's really not that old, but pretty interesting. They had two of those different years, and you know I love these ledger sheets. I got some of these last time I was here. But usually they're eight and a half by eleven, and they're vertically oriented. This is a landscape, and it's. Uh, I'm sure this is legal page. Pretty close. This is legal page right here. So it's eleven by sixteen and a half almost. So love the size, and mm -hmm. so. All of that, and we're still going strong because we haven't heard from Anne yet. Come and see what she got from her goodies. Um, let me move all my yeah. haul out of her face here so that she can have some breathing room while she's digging in her lovely bag. Well, most of my things are focused on um, crafting for dolls. I collect and customize dolls, so I was getting a lot of things for those projects. I got several pairs of knitting needles because I didn't pack any of mine on the trip. And these were listed as free, weren't they? No, they weren't. They weren't. Okay. And then four skeins of this beautiful ombre mohair. That is gorgeous. I just, I love the shades of colors. That's going to make a lot of good leg warmers for... And those were normal, those were listed at $3 a piece. Yes. You know, which is still cheap, but that's what they were going to sell them for. So that's $12 of yarn right there. Yeah, in a $15 got, bag. In a $15 bag. Right. Amazing. Some random little embroidery threads, because I'm working on a project um, that I'm going to do while I'm here. Some other random bits of yarn that will go into this project um, here. Cute. And I think this is the last little bit of yarn. It's kind of a multicolor, natural flax-looking yarn. It is. I really, really like that. And it's doll size. It, yes. you know, she has to always look for small weaves and small mm -hmm. prints and anything tiny and doll sized. And I got this. This is all mohair, already wefted for creating doll wigs. And what's wefted? Wefted means it's sewn into wefts, so you can actually oh, okay. sew it right onto a wig cap. Oh, cool. Um, as opposed to individually rooting the hairs. Oh, look at the colors. That is really cool. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. Um, I love working with mohair. I got a vintage doll dress that. Um, Lolly found for me. And then lots of little beads for this dress that I'm going to be sewing while I'm here. Um, lots of different little ones. This is actually fun because I used to have this exact same necklace when I was a little girl. Yeah, she um, found this and we both remember the exact necklace that she used to have with those beads in it. But it's interesting, it was Anne Travels. She always travels with a bag with little supplies and she has a little mm -hmm. tote bag that she's always sewing or knitting yep. something in yeah. her hands that she can keep busy. And this, this year I didn't bring a lot because Mom had told me about this place, so I didn't bring all of my supplies, and I thought, I'm just going to buy what I need at this amazing store. And sure enough, I got what I needed. So these are all beautiful vintage laces. I really like the eyelets on this and the shade of that. And we're still going on the same $15. I know. They're just. This is a beautiful vintage. This will make a bottom of a, a great skirt That's beautiful. for a doll. Um, I really like that. And then these are all, let me clear these away, I've got a, some vintage doilies that I'll be using also in doll projects. Let me pull this white paper out so, so we can, can see, see that. Yeah, and it's got wow. some holes in it, but it'll still make a really beautiful distressed doll skirt, you know. That is cute. Um, I, I don't like my things to look pristine. I like them to look a little bit lived in and used. So that'll be beautiful doll fabric right there. Very and cute. it's got a great drape to it. 
And then I got two of these, so I'll only show you one. Again, I'll be using this as doll bodices and shirts and things. Very pretty. And this I'm really excited about because I'm going to use this one in the project I was telling you about. It's a dress that I'm sewing for somebody. I'm going to be using this portion here for a bodice on a doll dress. And then I'm going to bead on top of it. And this was interesting. When we went to the store, it said none of the vintage items can go in your bag for $15. And then we asked, is this one of the vintage items? She said, oh, I'll put it in there anyway. Yeah. It's beautiful. There's two pieces of hand embroidered and a yeah. crocheted edge. So beautiful. that's going to make a beautiful little dress. When you think of how much time someone put together making that. This I got is this huge piece of upholstery fabric. I'll be using this for um, making flooring in some of my doll sets, doll films, or oh, furniture. Cool. It looks like a carpet, doesn't it? Like mm -hmm. a really embroidered carpet. It does. Um, that's I use a lot of that for rugs in my doll work. Um, it's piece like of fabric. I even like this end right there. Yeah, I'll probably use that as like the um, fringe. On I'm the end put this of the back carpet. under here so we don't have the pink interrupting our uh, the colors. And I have a few more pieces of fabric, a little scrap of blue. That's they had cute. some really beautiful small prints. It's hard to find prints small enough for the work that I do, so that was a good one. Um, this is a small print, but it's spread out, but it'll still work for some of my older dolls. I just love the vintage. That is cute. The, the flowers on that are so beautiful. I'll leave that spread out. We'll get the other one. And this is a very odd shape, but it's a very low pile fur with lots of good colors in it, fake fur, that I'll be using for maybe some little boots or something. No animals were harmed in making this fake fur. <laughs> no, it's pretty Definitely polyester backing. <laughs> and Lolly found this one for me. It's little bitty mushrooms. Isn't, it cute? Isn't that so cute? I know she's always looking for tiny prints, and one of her dolls is it's, a mushroomer, right? Right, she's actually a mushroomer, so. That's perfect for her. <laughs> and then I have a tiny little piece of wool. It's thin though, so I'm really excited about that. That'll make a good little vest or something. Which is something I don't usually think about. When you're looking for doll material, you need not only tiny prints, but you need thinner material right. because if you have a thick material and you try to fold it over and make right. things, it just gets too Which big. is why I was really excited about this because it's very, very drapey. Mm -hmm. um, usually fabrics are too stiff for doll fab for doll material. Cool beans. And then I think the last items are right here. Um, this one is a little photo album of antique photos. Aren't these just amazing? This is like the oh look at that car. That car. Oh wow. And Bessie, horse. Roy, I, and Mama. I love this one. That is so cute. They're just amazing. So it's this book full of old photos. That's beautiful. Yeah, we won't flip through all of them. This but. is like the adopt an ancestor. You know, you'll see these, <laughs> yes. these old photos and you can just pretend they're your ancestors. For the children. <laughs> and then a blank journal um, from some train museum. They're the first two pages and the last two pages have pictures of the museum and then the rest is really high quality paper. Yeah, that so. would hold. Oh, wow. Isn't that, that is. amazing? It's really thick. This would hold. Uh, oh, it is. And it's nice and uh, not yeah. slick, but it's smooth. And so. Right. Oh, and it's got a little, a little bookmark. What I like about paper is does it hold um, like mm -hmm. calligraphy pens it and should. fountain pens? Yeah. And this would. Yeah. <laughs> excuse it's me. The really ink from nice those. paper. You usually so. take a fountain pen and you write and it just kind of bleeds into the paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got all of that for $15. Let's see Which, if it, she does have the bag I do here. Have the bag here. Let's see if we can get this bag on. I don't on. think we can get the whole bag on there, but that was the you size of the bag that we could it's fill. It's huge, just huge. Oh look, so much yarn, so, so much yarn, so much. I need to look at the cover. I think yes, I think someone decorated this and put that on there, but it is just humongous. I'm not going to measure it out, but I know this is 17 inches here, so this is a good 20 inches long. So anyway, she let us. She said it's fill a bag, and she let us use this bag for filling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gave it to us. We're like, this bag? She said, yeah, fill it back. And it, it's sturdy, so this would be a great one for other... Th and believe it or not, we also went to another thrift store today. So um, <laughs> I got some more junk journal papers, and but Anne was able to get snowshoes and things like that yeah. for the kids and books. So it was a yeah. really productive day. Yes. We got lunch a little late, but we're, we survived. Yeah, so I'm going to give your link, too. Yes, and so, I'm going to... Go ahead. Well, I'm going to post this video and give you a link under in the description under this video. And those of you who are using your phones, you can still open those the descriptions under the video. And I'm going to give you a link to Anne's channel because you would be interested, really interested, to see what she's doing with dolls. And Anne likes stop motion photography. Let's look at this here. This is one of the dolls I just finished painting. So you did the face. Yeah, I painted the face. The face came blank. Yeah, I'm going to take her wig off, so don't be in shock. But this is what... This is what the resin usually looks like. It's a polyurethane resin. So this is what her face looked like, just plain like that. 
So I and painted she her. painted that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I paint them and I make films with them. So I've got. And what's her name? This is Moral. She's my little mushroom girl. She's the mushroom girl. She's mushroom. She's not dressed in her mushroom clothes right now because she was Aww, just comfy. And I like this guy. He's this so little cute. Beer. He's, he's actually a little finger puppet, yep. but he's so cute. And we're uploading this video on my channel too. So for those of you who follow me, I'm going to link you to my wonderful mother. She is a crafting YouTuber, Lolly. Oh, she's got. She's, one, she's one motioning more? for me to to grab my other doll. This is one of my newer dolls. I love the way how flexible this girl is. Ooh, they all are. Good gravy. They're all multiple. They all have joints. Um, and I love this girl's shoes. Yeah. Did you paint this one? I painted this one as well. L look at yeah. her face. Yeah. You can bring her even closer right there. There we go. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? I haven't she glossed her yet, so she'll have a little bit more gloss around her eyes. But. And what did you say her name was? This one? No, uh, no. this one. This girl, this is Marcy. Okay, beautiful, beautiful job yep. and beautiful job painting. So those of you who are wondering what other kind of craft projects you can get into, <laughs> painting dolls. I never have felt like a really good realistic painter, so this just amazing me. Did you make any of these clothes? I did not make these clothes, okay. which is kind of that's what they're wearing. But I'm going to be making some clothes for them and for some other dolls while I'm here, which is why I got all these supplies. <laughs> Great. <Okay. laughs> so I'm going to link you to my wonderful mother. And... and I will link you to her. So you will see both of our videos up. And thank you so much for watching. Yes. Yay. Bye. Bye.